welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually bittersweet. This is my last Invisalign update video. The next Invisalign video that I'll have for you is kind of like my tell-all, my entire experience in one video, how much I ended up paying because we'll know by the by the very end, and you know, some ups and downs, the issues, and how much I liked it or didn't like it. You pretty much know what I feel, but that video is going to go a little more in depth to the nitty gritty of the Invisalign journey that I don't always cover or things that I don't always talk about. So today I am on my final tray uh, of this last series. I'm a little nervous because um, my teeth, there is still one tooth that's pretty, like, it's not that far back, but it is still sitting farther back than I would like it. So I'm curious, I just changed out this tray last night, so I'm curious to see if it moves forward and everything becomes completely straight. If you don't know, I, I started my Invisalign journey last October, so October 2017th, and today is what, August 15th, 2018. So it will be under a year. It's exactly around the time that the orthodontist expected, except the one thing is, is he's so busy that technically my appointment to get all the fixtures, the um, brackets and things off my teeth, isn't until September. That's okay. The longer my teeth sit with this last retainer, obviously the better, and the longer it kind of sets. So I basically went through two series of Invisalign trays. The first series was like one to 13, and those trays I changed out every two weeks. This is one to, thir to 11, and I changed, Walter. Sorry, I change out these trays every week. So I'll let you see what it looks like. So this is my last tray right now. There is one extra one if I feel like I need it. Um, it's a basic, it's basically an optional tray. I think it just tightens things even more. And the ortho said if that was kind of hurting me or if it felt too tight, I didn't have to use it. I most likely will because I want it to be as perfect as possible. But these are my tooth with the trays on. They're still new and really tight. And almost like I don't feel like they're fully in, I have to use chewies to get them to sit on my teeth properly. A chewy is basically this foam marshmallow that you just put between your teeth and you bite on it and it helps put them in place. So I'll take them off for you. <laughs> Okay, and so these are what my teeth look like right now. So this tooth is still sitting a little bit back. So I'm waiting for this tooth to just pop forward. The rest are nice and perfect on this side and the bottom. And when I smile, this lines up. So that was the thing at the beginning. When I smiled, it was a little crooked. So he wanted this line to line up with this line, which it does. So I don't have to wear elastics anymore. I'm gonna pop these back on. There we go. I don't have to wear elastics anymore, which I'm very happy about. That was probably my least favorite thing of this entire journey. And not even because I don't like the elastics, it was just I forgot to put in elastics. And also, I don't like how elastics look, and I felt like it drew a lot of attention to my mouth, which I didn't want, hence why I chose clear braces instead of metal braces. So I believe that the, the this series is called the Refinement Series. So basically, it's refining and really straightening my teeth. I will wear this retainer until in, until the uh, the first week in September. If I feel like, again, going to that new retainer, um, obviously I will. Basically, between this one and the next one, I will be wearing these for the rest of the month. And then hopefully, 
by the next video, by my final kind of tell all, I will have absolutely perfectly straight teeth. And I don't know if you remember, in the next video I'll show you the before and afters fully, but my teeth were like, I was kind of smiling crooked like that, and they were just, they weren't terrible, but they weren't great. And that really, that was always, always really bothered me. My teeth were something I was really insecure about even though I had braces. So having straight teeth has been such a confidence boost and I love to smile, like I love looking at my teeth. The next thing that I'll probably get done on my teeth is fixing some of the white stains that I have from when I was a kid. At my next appointment with the ortho, they're going to be uh, installing. They are going to be putting on the metal bars to hold my teeth in place. I opted to go with the, both the metal bar and the retainer. You have a choice of either one. And because Andrew and I are paying for this ourselves and I'm older and wiser and I feel terrible that I'm doing this because my parents forked out all that money when I was a kid and I then now have crooked teeth. Well, now they're straight. Um, I just basically asked if I could have both because I don't want to do this again. This was, you know, quite a price for us to pay and it's not terrible, but it's still, it's money, money that could have gone towards other things. And so I don't want to be in this position again where I have to get Invisalign and get my teeth fixed. So that'll happen in September as well. As for my teeth, again, minimal pain. I have not had any big issues. Um, I definitely feel that in this kind of refinement stage, the pain feels a little bit different. It kind of feels like my teeth, instead of they were like, it was different at the beginning. And now it's like slight movements, but they almost feel a little bit more like intense in a way in some points. And when I put on a new retainer, I really feel it. It's like, oh, where before it was pretty much very gradual changes. And now I think because things are so tight in there, the changes, it just feels different. I know this is very confusing and probably not very interesting, but if you are thinking about getting Invisalign, these are the kind of things that you will end up dealing with. It's not bad. I highly, highly recommend Invisalign. I think it's so awesome to be able to take off your retainer to eat and drink coffee and things like that. And even to give your mouth a break when the pain, like when it does really hurt. And it really only lasts for the first day. Like because I just switched these out, my teeth are very sensitive, but by tomorrow these will feel like fine and by the end of the week they'll almost feel kind of loose because your teeth are beginning to just sit in that spot that you want them to be. I will have my other Invisalign videos linked in this video so if you'd like to see my my journey through the whole process kind of start to finish I have all of those videos it has been a great journey again so happy I did this it was worth the financial sacrifice and I really think it was one of the best decisions that I have ever made. I'm so happy. I feel so confident. I'm excited to go back to school and show people my smile because I think it's changed. I think like it just looks so nice, like so much better. And I don't have to worry about having a shadow in this tooth. I can't wait for it to fully come out. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for following along on my Invisalign journey. And if you have any questions about Invisalign you want me to address in my next video, Comment down below and I will try and either ask my ortho or I'll try to uh, answer them with my experience um, so that you can make an informed decision whether or not you want to get Invisalign. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye.